Criticizing your partner has got to be something that we, we choose today to say no more. Now, I want to make sure we understand criticizing someone is different than voicing a complaint. So how do we know the difference? Have you ever felt really criticized by someone? Man, I have before in my life, and it's not, it's not fun, is it? Especially if the person doing the criticizing is your spouse. I hear that many times in the clinical office that the feeling of being criticized by this one person that's supposed to be for me and not against me is pretty devastating for a lot of people. So I wanna to talk to you today about how you can crush the effects of criticism in your marriage. You ready? All right. Let's define criticism. What is criticism? Basically, criticism is in bringing up an issue in a way that focuses on your partner's character or their personality flaws rather than on what you would want them to do differently. So criticism basically implies that there's something wrong not with what your spouse has done, but like there's something wrong with them. <laughs> like they're defective or broken and this includes things like blaming them or name calling or just this general sense that the other person is just messed up. <laughs> so criticizing your partner has got to be something that we, we choose today to say no more. Now, I want to make sure we understand criticizing someone is different than voicing a complaint. Everybody needs to feel free to voice a complaint in your marriage, right? So how do we know the difference? Well, criticism is an attack. Criticism is, I'm attacking who you are as a person, not I've got an issue with something that you've done. Let me help you distinguish between this. Here's a criticism. You never think about how your behavior is affecting other people. I don't, I don't believe you're forgetful. You're selfish. That's the problem. You ever heard something like that? Well, that's a criticism. As opposed to a complaint. A complaint sounds something like this. You know what? I was scared when you were running late last night. And I, I thought we had agreed that we were gonna call in those situations and I'd just appreciate it if we could do that for each other. That's a complaint. So the anecdote for criticism is to use a gentle startup and to ask your partner to change their behavior in some very specific way. So what's a gentle startup? Let me give you some keys that can help you do the gentle startup. Start with, I feel. Begin all these statements with, I feel. Focus on what's going on inside of you. I feel hurt, I feel sad. Secondly, go to, I feel sad or hurt about what? Describe the actual situation. Don't describe your partner and how messed up they are. Describe their behavior, what happened. And then number three, I need. Let your partner know what you need versus what you don't want. Don't tell them what you don't want, tell them what you actually want. Here's an example. You know, I felt really ticked off last night with the dirty dishes. You left them out on the counter and man, we've talked about that. I just, I would appreciate it if when you're done with your dishes at night, if you could put them in the dishwasher. That's a complaint. It's, it's a gentle startup. It works. So my goal for you, my hope for you is that today you'll make the decision to let yourself register a complaint, but to never, ever criticize.